Hey, what's up, fam? Welcome back to the channel. How are you guys doing today? I am back for another video. This is the same day, and welcome into the five at live, the live at five, or however you some say. I don't even know what time I'm putting this out, but anyway, y'all, welcome back to the channel. How are y'all doing? I hope you have been productive today in getting your business taken care of and getting God's business taken care of also. Um, because a lot, I always say a lot is happening because a lot is happening. Okay. They're taking everything. They're taking everything. When I say they are taking everything that is not nailed down. So that is what this story is about. So we're going to jump right into it. We don't want to be here all day. Um, just keep preparing, keep stocking up and doing what you need to do for your household. Um, let me see how I want to do this video here. I'm gonna share my screen with you guys as to um, what exactly is happening. No, I think this is it right here. Yeah. I had to get rid of some of the stuff that was on my screen because I have so many news stories. I'm like, gosh, what am I going to do? So here we go. You see CVS is closing a select amount of uh, locations inside of Target stores. Let me make sure you're seeing it clearly. Okay. Let's go back to the screen. All right. So... I don't know if a lot of you even shop at Target. You can let me know down in the comments if you shop at Target. Um, I rarely shop there. I like Target, but it is expensive. It was expensive before prices started going up, and it's even more expensive now. And then their lines are extremely long with their self-checkout situations that's going on there. Um, and that's causing a lot of stores to close up, too with all of the crime that's happening. So let's get into the CVS first, and then we'll talk about um, what's going on with Target. So CVS is closing select Target pharmacies with plans to close 300 total stores this year, 2024, if you are watching this. CVS is CVS is continuing to shutter storefronts in... Let me get my... Um, more glasses shuttering storefronts in the new year and plans to close select pharmacies inside target locations in the coming months months y'all months okay the closures are set to begin in february and should be completed by the end of april so again this is starting in february cvs is closing 300 total stores inside of target pharmacies Mind you, Target is closing a number of stores themselves, okay? So, again, the closures are set to begin in February and should be completed by the end of April. They are not wasting any time. People are going to be losing jobs, guys. Uh, a spokesperson did not address the question on how many stores are set to close. Well, I've already told you up here it's going to be about 300 but it's definitely going to be dozens of stores that are going to be shutting down and that would be affected. The closures are part of CVS's plan to shutter roughly 900 or 10% of its stores. CVS is planning to close roughly 900 of their stores and that's stores inside of Target and outside of Target. So that's all inclusive. The pharmacy chain has closed about 600 stores since 2022 and expects to close the remaining 300 this year. Yeah, yep. Yeah. If my math is right, that makes it 900, right? So it says, why is CVS shuttering these pharmacies? So let's get into it because I haven't read the story. We're reading this in real time. Okay, so if I stumble and I fall, y'all catch me. <laughs> because these glasses are not clean and I have not filled my new 
prescription yet. I don't know why, but I have it. Okay, the closures are based on their evaluation of changes in population, consumer buying patterns, and future health needs to ensure we have the right pharmacy format in the right locations for our patients, is what they are saying in the statement. Other major pharmacy chains, including Right Aid and Walgreens, have also been shuttering, meaning closing stores amid rising competition pressure on prescription profits, and waning foot traffic. Rite Aid also faces pressure to cut costs as it faces a slew of opioid lawsuits. Um, the company filed for bankruptcy last year. I gave y'all the stories about um, Walgreens. I gave you the stories about CVS and them filing for bankruptcy. Rite Aid, which I didn't know Rite Aid still existed until, until I started doing these stories, um, but they still exist. And I had preferred Rite Aid over Walgreens because I had Rite Aid and they, um, Walgreens bought them out like some years ago. And ever since then, they've been struggling. Um, one, there's a shortage of pharma, not pharmacies, but pharmacists, a shortage of pharmacists. So they've cut their hours drastically. Um, they go to hour, they go to lunch now for an hour um, when it used to just be 30 minutes. Let's see. Pharmacists at the three chains have staged walkouts in recent months in protests, deteriorating working conditions is what they're saying, stemming from a lack of staff which I just said, and resources. So not only are they losing pharmacies, they're losing pharmacists. I'm going to fumble over this, y'all. They're losing pharmacists um, because of their working conditions. And now many of these, when COVID hit, a lot of the pharmacists, the older ones, they started retiring. They're like, I'm out of here. So they haven't really hired or been able to find enough replacements for the ones that left. Let's see which CVS pharmacies are closing. They have not shared that list yet, but I will keep my eye open for the ones that will be closing. And when, you know, I find it or they decide to share it because they don't want to share it right now, then I will definitely share it with you because sharing is caring. So feel free to share this video, you guys. And don't forget to hit that like button because it does help this video get out to more people. It lets YouTube know, hey, Tommy Bites TV is here and she's giving us the news we can use, but we want other people to see it also. Um, it says impacted employees will be offered comparable roles, comparable roles within the company. Now, mind you, they might not be getting those roles. If they're closing up 900, <laughs> closing up 900 locations, but you're going to offer them a comparable position somewhere else where's the somewhere else is not a, it's not gonna be enough left to you know hire people back it says patient prescriptions will be transferred to a nearby cvs pharmacy before the closures so that is what's happening with um i'm trying to find the other story you guys that's what's happening. Let me stop sharing right now. Um, okay. Let's see a thing. Chad just threw them things off. I couldn't see a thing. So that's what's happening out here with that. I'm trying to find. Uh, give me one second. Um, No, I don't want to stay here. I don't want to go. I don't want to go. It's asking me, do I want to leave? I don't want to leave. I'm just trying to find um, this other story. It's in here about the, um, okay, I just did that one. It's about the, the target. So, let me pull it up and pull it so you can see it.
Uh, um, here we go. Okay. All right, so let me share this with you guys. I apologize that I didn't already have it up, but I thought I did, but apparently I did not. Okay. So we have Target here who is um, closing nine locations. And I haven't forgot that I need to get to the fact that they're taking everything. Um, but Target here is closing by May. Full list of Target stores closing by May. So I haven't seen, I didn't give y'all the full list, I don't think. And if I did, I'm going to redo it. Um, it says inflation has lowered consumer demand significantly. And many Americans are turning to online shopping for greater convenience. These two factors combine with and have created what some financial experts have been calling the retail apocalypse. It is essentially the perfect storm for retailers to struggle financially and hundreds have already shuttered, closed many stores. Minneapolis, Minnesota, it says a small format Target store in Minneapolis, Minnesota will shutter on May 13th due to reported low foot traffic. Now, some of these are stores that have already closed and some of these are stores that are closing. We have Minneapolis, Minnesota, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. I'm not going to read the whole article because I've already done this store. You can go back to my video on the stores that are closing. Washington, D.C., metro area. Um, it, they're closing two locations there and then other closures that are out here is uh, Bed Bath & Beyond. So they're closing a number in Washington, D.C., a number of them in Philadelphia, and a number of them in Minneapolis, Minnesota. And then also, let's discuss this whole situation with, oh, wait a minute, what am I doing? That did the wrong thing. Um, let's discuss the situation that's happening with Target. It's not just happening with Target. It's happening with Target and also Walmart, y'all. They taking everything. They taking everything. And I need to find it. And because they're taking everything, um, Target, Walmart, and other stores are forced to come up with anti-theft things. And here we are. Target is now forced to lock up its underwear, y'all. But Target ain't the only one. It's a lot of them doing it. Pair, let's see. Target is now forced to lock up its underwear brand, Pair of Thieves, as it tries to crack down on rampant theft at the CEO said it has lost a staggering 500 million. So this is why another reason why Target is closing up a lot of their locations. It says Target has locked up the underwear brand, um, Pair of Thieves, amid soaring shoplifting. They're trying to clamp down on it. The goods were put under lock and key at retailers, White Plains store in New York City. So only a select number of targets are doing it. Only a select number of Walmarts are doing it. It is the latest measure by Target to curb spiraling thefts and follows the closure of nine of its stores. Target has restored I'm sorry, my screen's jumping. Target has resorted to locking up underwear um, by a brand, ironically, named Pair of Thieves. Oh, okay, I thought they were just coming up with something. I didn't realize that was the name of the brand that the people are stealing. Um, the LA-based label is among several which have been placed in protective cabinets 
at one of the retail giant stores. The measures come amid a surge in shoplifting at the chain, which has shuttered locations and recorded 500, in, 500 million in losses as a result of the thefts. Pictures show the underwear behind plastic cases under lock and key at Target's White Plains store in New York. Similar measures can be seen in place at other branches in Minneapolis, Minnesota, and Orange County, California. It comes after personal care items were seen shut away at the retailer's other locations in San Francisco and New York. And you know that New York and San Francisco are being overrun right now with migrants. And I'm not saying that just migrants are the ones that are stealing. That is not what I'm doing. I am not racially profiling. What I am saying is there are people out here who either cannot afford to just buy underwear, cannot afford to buy a razor, deodorant, etc. All of these things are being locked up right now. And then you see this case right here. These are the underwear that are locked up. Um... Here's some more cases right here with underwears, T-shirts, et cetera, behind lock and key. Now, it's going to be a struggle to try to find an associate because I've been in these stores and heard people say, OK, these are the why are they still in these ugly underwear? But anyway, um, I have seen and heard people, you know, find an associate and go, is there anyone that can come and open this so I can get some deodorant. And this was in a Walmart. I've even heard a little child who noticed that something that they probably saw out in the open before is actually locked up now. And so because it's locked up, they um, asked their dad, they was like, um, why is this behind the glass? You know, and the daddy was trying to explain it to him. But anyway, it says a spokes. A spokesman told Fox News at the time that the business takes a multi-layered approach to combating theft, including in-store technology, training for store leaders and security team members, and partnerships with law enforcement agencies. On a limited basis, we also employ theft deterrent merchandising strategies, such as locking cases for categories that are prone to theft. Um, they added that and explained the decision for this is to, let me see, they added that, da, 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 da. the spokesman added and explained the decision for this is taken at a local level. Shoplifting continues to be a major crisis in the Big Apple, despite Mayor Eric Adams vowing to clamp down on retail crime. He can't clamp down on, let me stop, let me stop. He is going to try to throw everything out there in for the public because right now he has been, some serious allegations have come against Mayor Eric Adams when it comes to um, unwanted attention towards someone else. Anyway, thefts in the city soared by 64% over the last four years. And it is similar story across the country's major cities with thefts up 61% in Los Angeles, 73% in Dallas. The crime wave has resulted in retailers taking these drastic measures to preserve their stock. In September, Target announced it was closing nine stores across major cities due to the scale of shoplifting. Two locations in Seattle, three stores in San Francisco, Oklahoma. I said Oklahoma. I got Oklahoma on the mind. Three stores in San Francisco, Oakland neighborhood, three stores in Portland, and one in Harlem, New York, shut their doors for good. So they are now closed, you guys. And this is a graph showing you of what they are losing compared to previous years. This is 2021 and 2022. This right here got me. This this is what got me right here. They have, what's in here? Ice cream locked up with a chain 
across the whole thing. It says Walgreens in San Francisco have been forced to lock up their items to deter thieves. We cannot continue operating these stores because theft and organized retail crime are threatening the safety of our team and guests and contributing to unsustainable business performance. This is what's going to make them stop allowing people to even go into the stores in, in these areas. I'm not saying this is going to be a vast thing, but in these areas, we may end up having grocery stores that do not allow you to shop in their store. They shop for you. Um, I did a story a while back talking about um, a grocery store opening up and they're doing a test run on it where you place your order over the phone online or you can walk into the front area of the store, but you're not allowed in the back and you can place your order on the kiosk. Someone in the back will fill your order. I'll try to find that video and link it in here. It's been a long time since I did it, but um, that's to cut back on crime. And that's sad that you have to do something like that just to survive today. Um, but these stores are going to continue to close because people are still stealing. And if what is happening in the world right now with the Red Sea and the delays that are expected to happen with the cargo ships coming through and the supplies is going to get worse because it's going to cause inflation even more so. And, and people already can't afford to buy. So it says the news came months after CEO Brian Cornell revealed theft was costing the company up to 500 million a year. Across the country, other retailers have also been forced to lock up everything from frozen goods to toothpaste. In San Francisco, Walgreens employees chained up freezers in a bid to clamp down on people swiping pizza and ice cream up to 20 times a day. 20 times a day? My goodness. The retail sector lost almost $80 billion due to shoplifting last year. And that's according uh, to a report by the National Retail Federation. The increase of nearly $13 billion of the year on the year, sorry, before came amid a frightening rise in violent theft in Democrat run states, well, cities. Meanwhile, CVS announced it was closing down 900 of their stores. I just told you that by the end of 2024. So they're planning on closing 300 by the end of May. And the rest of them, that other six, by the end of the year. Guys, this is getting insane. Please stock up your homes. Please do with what you need for your family. Start growing. Spring is coming. Get your seeds. Get ready and go. Pray, plan, and prep. I'll see you guys in the next video. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up because that like button that you click does help this video get out to more people. If you are new to the channel and have not subscribed, become one of our family members, which I call my cousins. What you waiting on? Go on and hit it. If you keep coming back and you haven't subscribed, that's because God is bringing you back to the truth. Let the truth be told here on Talking About TV. I love you, but God loves you more. He created only one you. Be the best you that you can be. And when you are, go out and spread God's love. Peace, love, and light. Thanks for being here on Tommy Bites TV. I'll holla.